You ever notice the church gets involved in all these squibbles and squabbles out here? I hear preachers all the time. People call them the greatest preachers in the world, and they'll pound that pulpit, and they'll scream and yell and holler about our Second Amendment right to keep and bear arms. What has that got to do with the church? I might believe it, but what has that got to do with the church? Nothing. It has nothing to do with the church. We know we've got to be fighting somebody, and we're sure not going to fight the devil, so we'll go out and parade around and talk about our Second Amendment rights. Well, I, I just think we ought to get up in the pulpit and talk about these liberals. Well, yeah, you're not going to fight the devil. You may as well pick on them. I'll tell you, and they get the cheers, boys. That, 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 those Democrats. They're not going to fight the devil. You may as well fight the Democrats or the Republicans, whichever you're preference may be. You know why the church is so mad at Obama today? Well, there may be 10,000 reasons why you don't like his politics, but the reason you're mad at Obama is because you've got to fight somebody, and he looks like the easiest target to whip. So let's take to the pulpit. Let's criticize President Obama for a little while. After all, the last thing any of us want to do is fight the devil. Nobody in the church wants to fight the devil, so we pick out an enemy we can whip, and we go after him with all the strength we can muster. Sounds like we're preaching against them. We're pounding the pulpit. We're reading texts about them. Why is that? Because we're not going to fight the devil. Why aren't we going to fight the devil? Because if you're going to fight the devil, that means you're going to have to go to the prayer closet, and we're not going to do that. We don't have enough time. We're not going to fight the devil because you can only beat the devil in the prayer closet, and that would mean we'd have to turn off our television. We're just not going to do that. We're not going to fight the devil because if we're going to fight the devil, that means we've got to go to the prayer closet, and that might mean we would have to turn in our season tickets for one or two weeks to whatever ball team is we support, and we're not going to do that. So the church is impotent today because we are not going to fight the devil. He hasn't beaten us. He has threatened us into submission, and we have gladly taken our place on the back row and said, okay, we'll, we'll fight the communists. We'll fight the liberals. We'll fight the, we'll fight the druggies. We'll fight all these people. Brother Jeff, don't you think we ought to stand against those people who serve the devil? The scripture says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and rulers of darkness in high places. The scripture knew we were going to try to attack other people instead of where our battle really lies, and that's with the devil. 